hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video i am gonna describe what happens at the examination center when you go for your uh, azure uh, examination so i went for age uh, az 900 that is uh, azure fundamentals and i passed with the score 820 so this is what i am gonna describe so some policies and procedures may vary based on your location including the identification but but few things you should always consider like try to reach a bit early let's say your appointment is at 10 so i would suggest reach around 9 45 so that you have some uh, time to uh, sign the document like they ask you to fill up few forms where you enter your in, uh, entry and uh, your details and also like you should always have some time in your hand right when you are planning something so when you enter the place they ask you like what exactly you are there for so you tell them they will have your data already they will ask you to sign and then they will click your picture okay and they will also check your government identification so this also can vary based on your location so make sure uh, you find out exactly based on your location what you need then uh, like i won't suggest you to carry so many personal belongings because they will give you a space to put your belongings in but why to carry uh, a huge amount of belongings with you carry instead less so that you don't have to uh, do much so uh, put it over there whatever space they provide you and uh, they're gonna click a picture for you and will put in the system and if they have a system ready for you i mean a computer set ready for you they will uh, take you in over there and then they will enter their information and uh, start the session for you so first it will ask you some survey questions and those questions do not determine anything and then uh, you get to read the exam um, system like how many questions they are going to ask you how many minutes you are going to get so in my case there were 38 questions asked and i was allowed 45 minutes so then uh, when you go through the exam like uh, when you answer a question First of all, do not leave and do not skip any question because there's no negative markings. There's no point in skipping any question. And then uh, you will get a checkbox if you want to mark the question for review at the end. So for any question you are not 100% sure, I would say just mark it for review because you cannot invest too much time in every question, right? So first I went through all and I had marked around six questions to be reviewed at the end. So well, once I finished all the questions, it, it was like multiple choice, a drag and drop, uh, select uh, or like objective questions. So I went through all of them. Then at the end, <coughs> it asks you to uh, review those questions. I reviewed it and then you click on submit. So when you click on submit, I mean finish, you need to hold your heart because you may see a longer white screen, but don't worry, nothing is going to happen based on that and it's going to calculate your score and you're going to get your result right on the screen so i was lucky i got congratulations i passed the exam 820 was my score and then uh, it may take some more time and the screen goes back to the login uh, screen for the examination center and after i came back after an hour or so i got an email from my microsoft account that i passed the course and my badge and transcript were ready so that's how it works guys so thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe to the channel thank you